Hello everyone on the internet and welcome to another OpenGL video um, and so this is the fifth part in the OpenGL 2D game programming series and if you've not watched the earlier parts this uh, you do not have anything to do with this video please go back and watch the parts one to four and then come back here um, this is awesome series and you you're learning to build a simple 2D snake game in OpenGL C++ um, using the GLUT library um, so in the fourth part um, we worked with simple animation and uh, achieved the desired speed of the object and so now uh, in this part um, we'll work and go directly on to keyboard input uh, and so we can now ex uh, will now accept the keyboard input uh, keyboard input and according to that we'll change the direction of the object um, which will be later modified into a snake uh, but for um, Currently, we are using just a cube um, to keep things simple. Um, and so, without uh, wasting much time, let's get started. So now, uh, you'll be wondering that how to accept the keyboard input. Uh, but uh, GLUT has features for that. Uh, features for that. Um, most of the people use the GLUT keyboard function, which takes in a keyboard callback here uh, which uh, the keyboard call callback should have parameter list of an unsigned character and two integers um, the unsigned character is the s key value of the key and this is passed by uh, passed into the keyboard callback which you can uh, identify and uh, act accordingly so whenever a key is pressed this keyboard function is uh, keyboard callback is triggered and accordingly the s key value of the key is passed uh, and there are um, also two integer ar uh, arguments um, so this is uh, this is the mouse position position of the mouse the coordinates which in, uh, indicate the position of the mouse at the time when the key is pressed um, so you can is use this function to uh, detect the keyboard input uh, and it takes the s key value um, of the keys so um, in this game we are going to use the um, mm, we're going to uh, use the direction keys um, these direction keys up left uh, left right and down um, so uh, for these uh, these are the special keys for which glut has uh, another function which already has some defined constants for detecting which key was pressed so uh, that function works for the function keys these direction keys and there are some other keys which we do not need to know about now um, so uh, for that you do not need to use the s key values uh, so that function is very similar to the keyboard function just that it takes uh, an integer uh, just um, the difference that uh, the callback will take first argument uh, first parameter as an integer instead of the unsigned character so that integer will be a constant which you can use to identify which key was pressed so the function is glut special function you can see the parameter list integer integer and integer uh, so We'll define a callback for this. Um, we'll call it keyboard keyboard callback special function keyboard callback, and we'll define the keyboard callback up here. So it takes three integer arguments. The first one being the key pressed, and the next two arguments being the position of the mouse at the time of the key press just like the keyboard function and so we'll define the function down here keyboard callback int key and we do not need to uh, we do not need to know the mouse position so we will not declare any more variables and we'll just keep them integer and integer so we do not declare any new placeholders uh, just we need to use the key so we'll currently leave this empty and now uh, we'll uh, we should, uh, so there I'm drawing the object in the display callback directly um, here at this position um, but uh, uh, as we move on we are moving towards the higher level of complexity in our program so we cannot just uh, draw the object inside the display callback because the snake body will be drawn which will be highly complex algorithms so we cannot keep this here anymore so we'll move this drawing uh, drawing of the snake body to another function in the game.cpp file which we will call draw snake and this function will take care of drawing 
the stuff on the screen and so uh, we'll uh, add a declaration uh, add a declaration to uh, for this function in the game dot header file this will not take any arguments and this return type will be void um, and so we'll remove this all the drawing stuff from here and we'll call the draw snake function after the draw grid function so first the grid will be drawn then the snake will be drawn and the buffers will be swept um, so this is the draw snake function and the stuff will be drawn here so to take care of the position of the snake we can define some variables um, which will um, keep track of the current position of the snake so we can call them uh, we'll use integer values because uh, uh, we are using the square grid so we don't do not need floating points or uh, double precision floating points so just integers and position x of the um, snake um, currently we uh, will draw a single block uh, but when the snake becomes long the position will convert this simple integer into array of integers to store the position for all the parts of the body parts of the snake uh, so position x and uh, this will be equal to 20 because we are using 40 into 40 coordinate system on our screen and so this will be at the center of the screen and position y 20 so the initial position of the snake body will be 20 comma 20 which will be at the center of the screen um, so we'll draw this uh, draw the a cube accordingly just for demonstration i'm using a uh, cube because uh, mm, just to keep it simple and uh, in the upcoming parts we'll, uh, I'll show you how to draw the body of the snake and take care of all its parts um, so we'll use the simple uh, gl rect d function to draw a rectangle using the double precision floating points uh, so the position we'll draw it at position x position y and we'll keep its size up to one unit so we'll keep it smaller and we'll draw it and we can run the program to check if there are any errors uh, this is always a safe thing to do and yes this is drawn at the center of the screen uh, and now moving on now uh, the uh, the block isn't moving so we now need to add animation uh, we already have the set frame rate the display callback the buffers are being swept uh, at our desired frame rate which is uh, 10 frames per second so if the snake uh, the block should move 10 blocks in one second if we move each subsequent move to each subsequent block uh, whenever a new frame is displayed uh, so now we've stored the position x and position y and we can now define some constants uh, to uh, for knowing the direction of the snake so uh, we can manually use integer values but it is always better for uh, better to define constants uh, so that you do not get confused so for the directions we can define constants with separate values so uh, we can define a constant up with value 1 we'll define another, another constant down with value minus 1 so just uh, these values do not have to be the same uh, like i'm doing this here you just need to add a different value to the uh, all the four of the directions so the value of the dire all four directions should be different uh, because uh, this will be used and uh, this may lead to problems if the values are same and we'll define similarly uh, right uh, we can keep the value two and we'll define We'll keep the value minus two, and so we define all these constants, and we have defined this in the uh, in the game dot header file because this file is included in both main dot cpp and game dot cpp. So this game dot game dot edge file, um, uh, so these constants will be available to both game and main file uh, because we didn't we need to use these from both of these. Uh, and now we have uh, the constants for the direction and now we can define uh, define a variable to store the current direction in which the snake is moving uh, so that can be a short because these integer values are small so we don't do not de need a 32-bit integer so instead we can use a short variable 
short uh, and we can name it as direction which stands for snake direction and by default we'll keep the snake direction right so the snake will keep moving rightwards until the direction is changed uh, by the keyboard input so snake direction is right and the snake direction variables uh, we also need to use this through the main.cpp file while accepting the keyboard input from the keyboard callback function uh, and so we'll use the external keyword to point to it using the main file so extern and this will be this is a type short and variable name is s direction so now we can access the s direction variable from the mains.cpp file using the extern keyword uh, so now we now have the access to extern keyword and also these constants because the game.header file is included right here uh, so we can now begin accepting the keyboard input so this uh, will be done through constants which are defined by glut so the integer which is passed uh, we can also use the constants which are defined by glut like uh, glut key up so these constants there are so many of them uh, which are for the special function callback uh, so we can use this to uh, identify which key was pressed on the keyboard so we'll use the switch statement uh, switch key uh, and now we can use the cases toggle cases to know which key was pressed so we'll first check if the key up was pressed so uh, um, and if you've played snake games uh, you know that if the snake is moving in a particular direction and uh, you press the key opposite the, opposite to that, that direction the snake will not turn for example if the snake is moving upwards and you press the down key uh, there will be no change in the direction of the snake because it will not rotate 180 degrees uh, so when the snake is moving upwards it can only move either right or left similarly if it is moving right so it can only move either up or down uh, because it does not rotate uh, at an angle of 180 degrees it does not go straight backwards uh, uh, so now uh, we'll check if the direction is not uh, downwards if the snake direction is downwards will no change will occur so we can use if statement if s direction is not equal to down uh, then we can change the direction to up so s s direction equal to up and now we'll break out of this case and similarly we'll implement the logic for uh, the other direction key so i've already uh, i have defined this already here uh, i have the source template uh, so switch key key up and similar things all here and when the down key is pressed if the direction snake direction is not up the snake direction is uh, will be now downwards and similarly is for left and right um, and so this changes the snake direction subsequently um, and now we can use uh, use the snake direction variable uh, to change the position of the uh, block which is drawn on the screen to move it according to the keyboard input so we can use if statement simple decision making uh, if the snake direction is up then uh, if so snake should move upwards so the y coordinate of the uh, block will increase so position y will be incremented by one similarly else if s direction equal to down position y will be decremented so the block will move downwards Similarly, we will implement the logic for right and left direction. And so now this should work if you compile and run your program. Um, so now this is our window and we can check if this is working yes this is so i'm pressing the keys on my keyboard the direction keys and i'm changing the direction in which the block moves uh, 
so I can show you uh, show this to you using the on-screen keyboard okay this is not working now uh, crap it's gone uh, okay so we've just uh, um, worked on accepting the keyboard input and uh, currently I do not have a plan for what I'm going to do in the next video so I'll just sit right here and uh, think about it what can be done in the next step of this programming so the next video will be out probably uh, by Sunday of next week or maybe before that um, so uh, till then goodbye take care and thanks for watching